Hello, 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 and welcome again to another DMG Tech Show. Again, I am your host, Jonathan Parkinson, and in this episode, we're going to be talking about Google Drive. Now, for anybody that has been on a Google Chromebook or a Google Chrome box, is going to know that you do get that free storage space that is included, which is very, very nice to have, especially with the fact that our devices are so cheap as it is. So we're just going to take a look and see how the Google Drive works. Now, this is going to apply to people that don't even have a Chromebook, as you can access your Google Drive directly through uh, your Chrome web browser as an application, or I believe you can just go to drive.google.com and access it that way as long as you are signed in, as you can see I am in the top right corner. So first things first, as you're going to see we have right here, this is going to be the basic layout. As you know, you can touch any of the top to organize the way you want it to be. As well as you can click this little button on the top right corner. Or sorry, not the very top right corner, but the little uh, four squares where it will give you this view. Uh, coming then into your information, your information is going to be kind of the activity that you have on the side. So whether you're sharing stuff with certain individuals or when you've last edited it or any of that type of information, it's going to come right over here as an activity. Coming over to our settings, you're going to see you can also just uh, change the way you want to have uh, things displayed as your view, as your compact view. Uh, anything else, you see the icons just kind of grew a little bit, uh, but it doesn't really change too much. As you see, it's more or less going to be dependent on uh, your screen size. So anybody that has a different screen resolution might want to adjust it to something that works a little bit better, or if your eyesight's not that good, you may want to increase it to maybe like an uncomfortable where you get that nice little gap in between each word. Coming to the left hand side, if you click the drive, the drive is just going to take you to the very top of your home page, whatever your very first page is, which typically is just my drive right here. Shared with me is exactly going to be what it sounds like. Uh, shared with me is going to be a uh, a way for users to share certain information with you. So when somebody shares with you, so if I go back into my drive and let's say if I click for example hello sign and I go to more, uh, not even more, sorry the plus sign right there, you're gonna see a different way of sharing things with individuals. If you come into how you see it says private so I'm the only one that can see that, I need to come in here and I need to make it as a change. Um, anyone with the link, so that means when I do this I can actually edit down here if I want them just to view it or edit it. So if you have written documents and let's say you're trying to share your, you know, your work with other people, maybe your artwork, whatever it is, you probably just want to leave it as a view just so they can view that and not actually edit that original document. Whereas edit might be a good way of using it if you're in a business term or you're working on a class project with other individuals. Now, when it's on the public for the web, that means it can be searched via google.com. So if you put the correct search terms in it and it just happens to come up, users can find that. Uh, so moving back down here with the uh, anyone with the link, I'll just go ahead and save that. And now I'll come back to this, as you can see it says right there. Now when I go ahead and copy this, I can copy and paste that anywhere, be it a website, blog, forums, social media, and anybody that clicks on it will then have access to this. I can also invite people directly and choose if they want to have a different option besides the option that I've given towards <coughs> excuse me for the users that are using the Google Drive link so you can also have it notified with the email so you can just come in here and you can type I don't want to type anybody's name because I don't want to give anybody's email account personally so I'll just leave that on you and you kinda gotta trust me there and coming over here you can also share it obviously via social media now again if your social media is not up here let's say you want to share it on LinkedIn you can again just copy and paste that, go to your LinkedIn file, or sorry, your LinkedIn profile, and make the edit and changes that way. So now go ahead and close that out. We'll go ahead and uncheck that. Actually, we'll leave that checked, and you see there's going to be a few other options. Uh, we can go ahead and move that to a folder if we'd like to do that, or move it to a different directory with inside of our Google Drive. Uh, trash it, it's going to be trashed. Now remember, I want to let you know that if you do trash something, if you look at there, we're going to have a bin right here. Uh, bin means it's going to be uh, kind of backed up as a catch would be. But you can always empty your bin. And just as you see, when you empty a bin, that means it's going to be removed forever and there is no coming back from that. So it might be good, you know, every six months to go through it and empty your bin. But again, if you're doing this for business purposes, you might want to leave it in there. So then you can have your files backed up for references for later on down the road. 
Uh, coming down here with shared. Shared is going to be anything, or sorry, starred. I don't know, sorry, my contacts are a little messed up right now. We need to put some new ones in. Uh, starred is going to be anything that you have put a star next to it. So it's going to be just like a favorite. Uh, if you find, you know, Google Drive or just like any cloud storage can get very cluttered. No matter how organized you have something with uh, multiple folders, folders within folders. Uh, if you put a star next to it, it's going to just keep all those documents, those, those things that are really important right there in front for you to find. Uh, recent is going to be just the way it explains itself. Anything, whatever you've edited recently, is going to show up there. And more. Offline and all items. Offline entitles anything that is going to be for offline use. So I do have my Google Docs set up for offline use, so I can use that. So that means all these are saved, and I can use that even without an internet connection. And you're going to see I have almost no Wi-Fi signal here, which I have no idea because it's running blazingly fast right now. But that's just the way it is, but I will always be able to access it even without the internet. And finally, it's going to be all items. All items is going to be exactly the way it is. Be it offline, online, starred, non-starred, shared with me, not shared with me. This is exactly where you're going to find everything from the ground on up. Coming to the very top, Create. Create is a very useful tool, as you're going to see on the right hand. This is the normal stuff. Let me start over real quick. The normal stuff that you're going to be able to create is through documents, presentations, spread. This is typical of what you would think to be able to create with. But more and more items are having the option to be created with third-party applications and if you go to a let's actually go ahead and see if I can get to it real quick if you go to the Chrome Web Store and if an item has the little lightning bolt next uh, I believe it's the lightning bolt let's double check that before I put words in my mouth but I want to say it's the lightning bolt so if I come to let's go no off oh no, we'll go to Google Doc or Google Drive apps here. And as you see that oh sorry, it's the Google Drive actually application uh, symbol. So that little uh, icon right there ensures that if you, you download this and you come back into your Google Drive and you go to create, you'll get a little pop up here. So I use Pixel Editor quite a bit, Hello Sign. Uh, those are two of the main ones that I use. So I can just come in here and I can click that and then create a document directly in my Google Drive and it will saved and backed up into my cloud server, which is very, very nice. Upload, just the way it sounds like. If you have any files or folders that are saved within your uh, folder or even on the USB drive, uh, you can go ahead and back it up that way. And that's pretty much it that when it comes to your Google Drive. Uh, Google Drive is honestly one of the most useful tools. It gets implemented with more and more uh, third-party applications as well as Google applications almost about every few months now so as you know the Chrome OS starts to build up as Google you know starts syncing everything together across Android devices as well as you know across multiple platforms no matter what you're using uh, Google Drive is going to be you know kind of a key too. I, I find just having the offline capabilities with it probably to be the most useful thing that I can use because as we know as uh, Chromebook users there's those times that we might bump into where we cannot get a Wi-Fi signal or we just need to get into something really really quick that offline is going to be the best useful tool for it. And that is about it. Uh, again, real quick, if you would like to search for a document, you can come up here to the search bar, type in what you're looking for. If you have a specific name and you can find it in that way. And that's about it for the Google Drive. Um, if you guys have any comments, questions, or anything like that, you can always leave them in the uh, section below. And as always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.